Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing today? Hi, 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 hi. Scrum is disabled. Uh, I have to re-enable it, actually. Give me, like, two seconds. I'll re-enable it. Hi, Silverfish. Welcome in. GG's on the first. Hello, Blackclad. How are you doing today? Uh, viewer rewards. Channel points. I should... I disabled Scrum uh, for a reason. And I believe that it is now able to be re-enabled. Time. One sec, I'm re-enabling a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, that should all be fixed. Things should be re-enabled for science. Oh no.
You're doing good. I'm glad. So excited for the beginning of Chronicle 2 of Halcyon today. I tried to lurk in lots of people's chats, but just was today was like such a work day. I was literally busy nonstop. I also had a work call about five minutes before I sat down to stream. So like it's been a day. You're, do you're good despite leaving my dorm at 7.40 and not getting back until 7. That's a.m. and p.m. respectively. I figured out what you meant. But yeah, that sounds like a day. That sounds like a day. But I hope it is uh, chilling out a little bit. Hope it's chilling out. But yeah, it's, it's uh, been a day. And now I have a last minute work trip tomorrow, which I'm... Uh, less than excited about because i don't want to go um so i'm i'm actually like kind of mad you're gonna go sing and relax valid um i'm mad because literally 1.20 drops tomorrow i was so excited to play i was so excited to start the hardcore world like had all these plans and now i have to go for a stupid work trip so yeah my life is full of suffering and scrims. But it's fine. Silverfish is scrimming. Honestly, Silverfish, that's how I feel. I feel 98% scrim. But yet, there's nothing I can do about it. I have to go, so. It's fine. One sec, that feels very loud. There we go. Scrim! It'll be fine. I'll be back on Friday. Oh, interesting. There is an actual, like, scrim command. Yeah, that's a thing. That's been a thing for a while. I'm happy I can be here for more than two minutes for once. I'm here for a whopping 15. This is actually a Christmas miracle. I didn't know it did things. It does. It says S-C-R-E-M. Like, scrim. But it's a cute little command. I added that a while ago. Nobody ever uses it, I think because I didn't really make it known that it's there. And the command list on my bio is like wildly out of date. Like wildly so. It's fine. It's fine. But I hope everyone's having an amazing day. You love it? Me too. Penguini, how's school going? I hope it's amazing. Also, I feel bad, guys. Uh, did you decide on a world seat for hardcore small? No. Because rather than being a good noodle, I am being a criminal. To the surprise of absolutely no one. I haven't decided, Silverfish. Uh, honestly, I have, like... I'm saying I've been unbelievably busy, and that's very true, but at the same time, I've also been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight just to, like, turn my brain off and de-stress, which is very funny because Dead by Daylight doesn't seem like the type of game you would play to turn your brain off and de-stress because scary murder stuff, but I have been doing that a lot just because I was a little overwhelmed uh, with just, like, the general nonsense of life. Um, but hopefully after this work trip, we're just gonna grind out hardcore and, uh, and vibe. School's going well. I'm really enjoying my classes, and despite all of the works, I'm actually having a really good week. Thanks for asking. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. De-stress does not sound like DBD. DBD is the best game to de-stress to, because if you go into it with this, like, I'm probably gonna die, like, you're gonna have a great time. You know? I don't know. It's just been a really long couple of weeks. Like, I was really having a blast, like, streaming so aggressively at the end of May, and then my sister's wedding happened, and, like, all this IRL stuff, and it just took up all of my time, and, like, suddenly I was like, oh my god, I haven't done anything. Like, I haven't done any of the things I wanted to do. Like, the OGC hardcore community server started up, and I have basically played about an hour, and it's the 6th of the month, so I'm doing great there. Just been a thing. A target dummy glares at their foes before them. Why are they ignoring me? Uh, because target dummy, you're not a real foe. Uh, you're never gonna be a Toys R Us kid. That's why. Is that mean? If I tell the, the dummy he's never gonna be a Toys R Us kid, is that bullying? It feels like bullying. 
Slipfish Stone tries to release their bees, but bees refuse to attack, rolling three and a modifier of minus two. Man, bees. Why bees like this? Slipfish Stone looks at the target dummy and shouts the words Screm Roda. The foe manages to block some of it and deals four cat damage. Also, the Drama Club announced the theme for an event next year is Miscast, which is basically gender swap, and so I'm going to the music rooms because I've specifically picked out some killer female solo songs that I've pitched shifted to be in my range to practice. That actually sounds like it'll slap. Yes, but also deserved. Fair. Now you're all cut up. I love it. I actually love that idea. Hi, Runic says hi. Hi, Fire Runic. I hope you're doing amazing. Not a Toys R Us kid. I want to be a Toys R Us kid. No. <laughs> like, poor target dummy. He didn't ask for this. Guys, the mud makes such a satisfying squash down. Squash. Squash. Crunch. Crunch. Attack Cone of Shame. The Black Cloud Wanderer picks up a 20 side die and rolls a uh, fell off the table. Feel free to reroll. Scram! Big scram. Also, the PNG tuber feels very small today. Like, smaller than norm. Mm, I, want, I don't want to see the de my decapitated neck. There we go. That's better. I was like, why, do I, why does it look weird? Because <laughs> it's very tiny. Uh, am I out of mud? Yeah. Okay, we need more We need more uh, mud. Whatever that stuff is. The stuff. You know, the things. The Black Cloud Wanderer attempts to place a cone of shame on their foe, but trips and misses the opportunity. Wow. Skill issue. Guys, do we not have any mud? Oh, wait. Yeah, we do. Okay. I was about to be like, mud! They avoided any harm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Skill issue. So, Black Cloud, have you got yourself kind of set up on uh, Halcyon with where you're going to be kind of working and working and doing the things? Or you still gotta figure that out. I know you guys were all playing like so much today. I saw so many people on. I've learned that a decent projector is like $2,000 and it's nearly crushing my dreams. What do you need a projector for? Set up? No. Starter home location? Yeah. Resources to build and said home no. Fair, fair. That's uh, progress though. That's a lot of progress. Cinema. You are a cinema. I could watch you forever. That's the only like, I uh, I always think of that song. The Skrillex song. 07. Silverfish is sad. Silverfish, do you also want a decent projector? Should I get you one for Christmas? I want to learn how to do basic projection mapping. All right, educate and ignorant small cast. What does that mean? Like when you say projection mapping, what do you, are you making maps? Are you hunting for treasure? Are you adventuring in the wonders of uh, amateur archeology? span Like Beetlejuice the musical has inspired me. Ah, that, that clarifies very little, to be fair. Uh, that looks weird. That looks weird too. Better. Okay, I think that's all of the edges of this one. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. What's he gonna do to me, Blackclad? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Man, I haven't watched that movie in a while. I, I mean, I say a while. I think I probably watched that movie like six months ago. Still such a good movie. Plots are going quick, I see. Are there any left, question mark? Because I have not bought one. Two. Can I reserve one? Remotely with a tele order? Okay. 
put me in for one. I pay you later. So it's like when you make images or limba. So it's like when you make images that are specifically made to project onto a surface and ugh, this is hard. Okay. So like professional finger puppets. I know that's not what it is, but I think it's funnier if I say that's what it is. Lots? Yes. Uh, Derek has terraformed a little bit around the main spawn island and added in some new land and basically created like little building plots that he's selling. Oh man, the PNG tuber is now in front of the PNG tuber is now in front of the text. It's sort of like forced perspective illusions that are projected onto a wall. Interesting. Eek. I don't know when I'm gonna build there, but I'll build something. Oh man. I hope that's not my work phone. One sec, guys. I gotta check if that's my work phone. Okay, that appears to be my my normal phone. Is that my work phone? Hmm. Sus. Okay. Forced perspective illusions. That sounds kind of cool, though. I know, Silverfish. I know. I don't want it to be my work phone. Believe me. I'm, I'm angry. Like, there's nothing more I want it not to be than my work phone. If work could just chill out, I think I would be just such a happy cat. I had to use all my brain cells to come up with that last message. Lol. Honestly, such a mood. I could probably link you a video that shows it and then you'll get it if I remember to do that later. Yeah, if you send it, I'll like, uh, I'll check it out when I have a little bit of time. I'll do my best to remember to do so. I'm not always the best at remembering to do that kind of stuff, but I'll do my best. The problem is like, uh, and it's nothing against anybody, but like people will be like, oh, I'll send that to you, check it out. And I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah. With every intention of doing that. And then I forget. And then I'm like, ah, oh, small. Why are you like this? Why did you forget to watch that thing that your friend wants you to watch? And I'll be like, it was in the brain and now it's gone, you know? I could probably link you- oh yeah, I read that, I read that, I read that. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing? Moss, 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 moss. I can just hear the cats criming. Yeah, so uh, when I get back from this work trip, I have some family stuff I have to do um, Saturday and after that, on Sunday, we are going to be streaming again with Dutchie for Pride. So hopefully that following week, we're going to start the Hardcore World. That's my my goal is to start the Hardcore World that following week. Kay, welcome in. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Last message about it, but a better description would be like those houses with the Christmas lights synced to music, but with a projector instead of Christmas lights. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I actually kind of understand what you're I, I understand what you mean now. That's cool. Nice to see you guys, always. Man. I'm short. I'm out of moss. Help, I'm short and I'm out of moss. It's a tragedy. Has anyone ever been short and out of moss? Because I'm suffering.
Hmm. This is kind of weird. We're working on it. We're, we're getting there. We've got to keep mossing. I think if we uh, hold steady and continue to apply moss, we'll be fine. Moss, 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 moss. Short, maybe, but never out of moss. Are you short, Silverfish? Gotta have more moss, honestly. Best block. Okay, time to sing. I enjoy the chit chat and the sounds of blocks being broken in place. Have a great stream. My stuff in later. All right, Penguini. See you later. I hope your singing goes amazingly. It's always nice to see you. Moss, 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 moss. Hug hugs to small. Be lurky a bit. Going to eat food here. Hey, Pug. Welcome in. Enjoy your lurks and your noms. I hope you're having an amazing day. All the tasty food for Pug. My brain was like absolutely lizarding when I got home and my partner was a sweetie and made food for me. It was such a mood. I was like, oh, thank goodness. I don't have to cook for myself. I don't like I was just in bed like bleh, like not even not even considering the concept of waking up and making or like getting out of bed and making food. I'm so glad I didn't have to. Now I'm, now I'm just messing stuff up. How do I get out of here? I uh, love you too, Pug. Okay, do we have more moss? We must see if we have more moss. Moss must intensify. Moss. The <laughs> silverfish child. I always find it so funny that you say that, Pug. I don't know. I just find it very humorous. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to make sense. Guys, I'm, al I'm also hoping Daddy Bone stops in today so that I can be like, look, sir, look at your biome. Like, look at what you have now, you know, because I feel like I don't think he's like really seen it as of late. And I haven't had any time to hop on defaulters, so I haven't been able to be like, Come look at your thing, you know? Darkness. Danger. Sleep, 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 sleep! Let me sleep. Ah! Thank you. Thank you. Panicking, panicking. Totally not panicking. Sorry, I was dancing for a little bit. Dancing. So one of the things I did have time for, because I'm complaining constantly about not having time for things, is I did work on a super flat episode yesterday. So I'm hoping when I get back, episode of super flat, if I can get a few minutes to do that. At least that's the goal. I think I come I should come back in here and add a little bit of moss carpet to add some dimension because it's a little flat right now. Like, this feels a little too flat. I think if we add some, like, moss carpet, dot it around, it'll look a lot better. I fell. Let me out. One of my favorite songs on this playlist is this one. Okay, we need more moss.
grass would help? Maybe. But the grass gets such an ugly color is the problem. Like, if I go get... What can I get rid of? Okay, I can put that in my outfit. One sec. Grass, though it would look weird in the savannah. That's my concern, yeah. So, like... I mean... I was like, this isn't a silk touch pickaxe because it's named Flint Friend. I'm like, wait a minute, why didn't that work? It's like, oh, probably because it's not silk touch. That would do it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. All right, I'll work with you on that. I'll work with you on that silk touch. Give me a minute. Do I have any grass or do I have only dirt? I mean to ask, I meant to ask Small, why did you do the biome in a savanna? Um, it was one of the areas I could find that was like big enough and open enough that would require minimal like pre-terraforming. Uh, it didn't have a ton of hills, it was like relatively flat. Uh, and it was a pretty big biome. And it's not super close to any other builds. Since you're covering the whole thing anyways. Well, I also wanted, like, if I placed grass, I wanted to maintain that, like, kind of dead feeling. Uh, because it would make sense that parts of it are very not lush, and only the parts around the oases, oasi, oasis, oasi, um, would be green and pretty, right? Everything else should be kind of, like, dead. That was sort of my thought process. You know what, we can place some dirt and allow it to grassify. Guys, I'm grass farming. Didn't this song just play? Am I insane? Didn't this song just play? Pretty sure it just did. I think I'm losing my mind. Like, I'm 90% sure this exact same song just played. Um... Crap. My Silk Touch Shovel is dying. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Do I have any... Sparkly Boys? No. Don't. Crap. My wings are kind of dying. My shovel is kind of dying. I think we need to take a quick trip to the Enderfrienders and deal with our tools. But small, that destroys all the grass and the rows of dirt. And that's fine. It'll grow back. It'll grow back. It's like if you lose a toe. It grows right back. Right, Black Cloud? I lose toes weekly. They grow right back. It's the power of the beans. <laughs> I love your expression right now. I'm like, mm, but you could have taken the grass and replaced it with dirt. Nah. Black Cloud Wander has only gone and found some holy cookie grenades of doom. Whilst exploring a glitched chunk. I mean, that's a pretty good find. Oh, guys, I have a surprise. Are you ready? Guys, wait, really quick. We gotta actually... Are you ready for the surprise? I forgot about it until just this minute. I don't know why, but I, the purple reminded me. Are you ready? Yep. All right, everybody hold. Hold, 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 hold. Surprise, 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 surprise. Wait. Pride! <laughs> Pride PG! <laughs> it vomits rainbows! Welcome in! Fried beans! 
Kumi made it. Isn't it amazing? It's got a little bi pride flag and it vomits by rainbows. Isn't it beautiful? What a thing to corner <laughs> come into. Amazing. That's what we're here for. Vomiting rainbows. Pride, 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 pride. It's very guys, it's really hard to walk into the end uh end dimension when you're at F5 mode. Oh. Okay. We're doing great. We're doing great in F5 mode. But look at it, I'm vomiting rainbows. Isn't this great? I personally am having a blast. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I'm not. How do I get out of here? Ah. Oh my god, how do I get out? Let me out! Five on it? Hmm. Oh, I'm... I can go better in reverse. I can go better in reverse, as it turns out, for whatever reason. I can go better in literal reverse! I think the flag holding kitten is adorable. Isn't it so cute? Why can I go better in literal reverse in F5 mode than I can in normal mode? What's wrong with me? Can someone explain how that works? Waits for small to reverse into the void? There, no, no, there's an Enderman head railing. It's completely safe. It's 100% totally safe. See, it's totally safe. Hundred percent safe. I'm totally fine right now. Moonwalking pro. Thank you. I gotta heal my shovel. It's a sad shovel. It's a sagel. Oh look, an Enderman head. Tad, do you want that? Do you want that, Tad? The Enderfriender head. Do you want it? Do you want it? You can have it for free. I'll even put Curse of Binding on it for you. It's yours. Yes, I lost my last one. Log on right now. I'll put this on your head. Oh, I looked at one. I looked at one. He's an angry boy. I looked at one. He's an angry boy. Okay, that's really loud. Okay, I'm getting out of that five mode. This is making me sick. I don't know how. I think you uh, purposefully removed my gift. That's what you did. I know what you did. So I died for some Hahi Blim Tadpool. Blackflag, how did you beat Rubik's to dying? I definitely had my money on Rubik's in the illegal uh, Hahi death betting pool. I had my money on Rubik's, so I'm very surprised. I was not anywhere near. Wait, oh, oh, oh. Dripstone to the face. Yes, I heard this happen on Tadpole's stream. Minky Dripstone murdered you, right? That's actually hilarious, FYI. Actually hilarious. Moonwalking Pro. I got, yeah, yes. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. I was giggling hearing that happening. there any ender friender heads does not appear to be the case okay i think we're fine full health too mind well that's because dripstones are powerful wizards were you wearing a hat yeah were you wearing a hard hat did you have on osha approved safety gear i doubt it Were you wearing still toed shoes? Were you safety glasses? Uh, ANSI, whatever number it is, I don't remember because it's actually not that important to remember just where the safety glasses uh, compliant. Yeah, were you wearing your turtle top? Damn it. Okay, Derek told me I got the big plot. 
I don't know what that means. What big plot? Where did he add a big plot near? He said a big plot near spawn. Oh, this one is mine. Sold to small cats. Let's go. Was oh, this one sold? Tadpole milk pending payment. Okay, I also haven't paid. This is also for sale. Ah, and a future direct location. Can we also really quick talk about the lantern spam? It's actually painful, and this terraforming. Let's talk about it. You paid? Mm. It says pending payment. You appear to be um, not taking your credit score seriously, Tadpole. You wanna? You care to elaborate? Explain. Why are you not paying your bills? I put my payment in the Dirtech Realty office in a chest. Ah, it doesn't check out. Actually, sus. So unbelievably sus. Uh, which way? Welcome back, Pug. How's your food? Nope, this way. Guys, I'm going to learn where things are on this server that I've been playing on for almost five years. Uh, one of these in days. One of these days. I may be sus, but I am no liar or thief. Uh, well, to be fair, you spelled liar wrong. You said you are no leer or thief, so you could be a liar. You didn't specify. Food was good. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you for welcoming back, Pug. <gasps> grim! There's a Grim Beans. A Grim Beans on the floor. Grim! Hello, small man. How are you? He's like, I am a cat. I'm not paid to spell good. That's good. Because I am not either. No one's paying me. Beans, 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 beans. It's spoopy. It's spoopy and dark out. Scourge. Scourge. Okay. We're safe. Probably. I hope. Okay. You could- you wish you could be paid to spell well? Or do you wish you could be paid to spell as well? As in also. Sounds like a nice job. I think that's called just being an editor? Like a proofreader? That's what they do, right? They are paid to spell good? Like, I'm pretty sure that's an actual job you can actually have. You just have to understand how grammar works. It is. Man, I need that job. <gasps> Endless! Welcome in! This is the raid that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. Some people started raiding, not knowing what it was, and we keep on raiding just because it is the raid that never ends. <laughs> Stardust, hello, welcome in. Endless themselves, hello, hello. Rock Chalk Jeremy, hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome in, welcome in. How's everybody doing today? Endless, how was your stream? What did you get up to? Were you on OGCHC? Or were you on your uh, single player hardcore? Aw, that sucks, Pug. Guys, we're currently vomiting rainbows. It's amazing. OGC HC, yes ma'am. <sighs> nice, how's it going? I have barely played and I feel so bad. Life is not permitting me to do fun things at the moment. Scrubbing. I knew what you meant, it's okay. <laughs> I'm giggling it, yes ma. <laughs> like, Amazing. Nice. What were you were you working on anything specific? Just base building, running around, doing crime. It's growing great. We started a big old creeper farm. Very nice. Got to get the rockets. Very important. Has anyone else perished since Luma's unfortunate creeper? Or sorry, uh, unfortunate Enderman demise. I hope not. But for those of you coming with that endless raid who do not know me, my name is Small Cats. I play Minecraft on the Friends of Nonsense SMP, and I'm involved with a bunch of other things. For example, the OGCHC server, 
Minecraft. I swear I'm going to play Minecraft on soon. Uh, and I play mostly survival Minecraft, and we're currently working on a terraforming project. So we are creating a custom desert oasis biome for the one, the only, the Daddy Bones. Now, Miss Kate built a lovely church and graveyard for the fallen members of the community. Oh, I saw pictures of it. Only two? I mean, that's actually great. For six days in, only two? Actually amazing. Like, actually really good. To be fair. Uh, where is my... Yeah, this is my silk touch. It's like, where's my silk? Oh, look at that grass go. GG's grass, you're doing so good. But yeah, it's honestly, two people for a week into the server is really, really good. That's why I love about this project. It's so collaborative. We're all trying to focus on just like keeping each other alive and having fun. Like, so nice. Such a vibe. But endless, if you do have to relax or take care of yourself after stream, eat some food, take a rest, please take care of yourself. It's very important. Thank you for bringing your community over here. I appreciate it so, so much. It's nice because everyone can play to their strengths, but there's still the risk because hardcore. Yep. That's what I like. It's super fun. Like... Like, you can- you get to choose to be as, uh, risky or uh, play it as safe as you feel comfortable with, which is so nice. Like, for building a creeper farm, you can do that, or a mob farm, or, you know, fighting the dragon. You're not required to, because somebody else is gonna do it if they feel comfortable doing that. It's, like, such a good system. Okay, I like that. Adding the grass in is helping. I'm gonna have to add a little bit of grass to the other oasis as well. I'm gonna grab some food, have fun, thanks so much small, all the love, have a great stream. Aw, thank you so much Endless. Thank you for bringing your community over here, I really appreciate it. Have a great after stream, get some noms, get some rest. I've definitely been playing the safe side of things here. Hey Map Geek, welcome in. I mean, totally valid, totally valid. Like, honestly, even as someone who's played a good amount of hardcore, I still play pretty cautiously uh when i'm not crime criming um because i don't like dying so i totally feel that hmm. that's all my grass crap i need more grass get a tiny bit more Uh, my inventory. Guys, how have I made a new chess monster? How have I done this already? Can someone explain to me how I've done this? It was so fast. I never had a chance. Hey, Cap! Welcome in! How are you doing? I'm so glad to hear it. We are working on the Desert Oasis still. If I ever finish it, I would be very happy. And I wanted to stay up late tonight and like play longer, but I literally have to fly tomorrow morning at like 7 for work at the last minute. I literally booked my travel today, so I'm a grumpy cat because I don't want to work travel, but I have to. It's crap. Didn't you just start that on version 116? Basically. <laughs> it feels like it. No, I mean, I started this a few weeks ago. <laughs> to be fair, we placed a 15 by 15 chunk thing of sand in about two weeks. So I feel like we did pretty good. Got a problem resolved, so good. Oh, nice. Well, uh, server related? Just, just life related? Why is this like this? I found a mistake. This that is bad small scram i know it's fine there see packed mud it's like it never happened no one ever saw that dirt it's fine 
Yeah, the raid farm Nakun Endless Mage wasn't working. Oh, 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 I saw the thing about that. That was because we were on a certain difficulty, right? <gasps> Galaxy Girl! Hello, hello, welcome in! Oh my goodness, so many raids. Oh my gosh, I love the raid message. Nugget, hello, welcome in. Galaxy Girl herself, hello, hello. Bardo, hello, welcome in. Next Gen, hello, hello, welcome in, raiders. Galaxy Girl, how was your stream? What did you guys get up to today? I hope you had an amazing stream. <laughs> tadpole. It's a tadpole milk. Nugget, thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, Raiders, what did we get up to today? Uh, guys, what was I doing? I forget. <laughs> nope. Nope, no zombie piglin. No zombies. No, 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 no. Wait, where is the thing with the stuff and the things? This. It was wonderful. I w it was a little bonus stream because why the heck not? We just goofed around in mind while hoping for a fortune three Hello. enchant that we did not get. Nice. Oh, I loved... Um, I love a bonus stream. This is a cursed world. What makes it cursed? Thank you for the hello there. Out of like out of curiosity, what makes this world a cursed world? Get. Thank you for thanking the mods. Can you put string above cactus so that it doesn't get taller or does the cactus get angry? Question. I don't think I have any string though, so it doesn't actually matter, but is that a thing? Cursed as in mobs actions do crazy things that aren't normal. Zombies revive, skeletons shoot lightning, enchanting explodes. Oh, that's actually cursed, yeah. Yes, you can put a slab or something above. Okay, beautiful. I need more bows. Bardo, thank you so much for that follow. Uh, this is a invite-only server, unfortunately. Do I have bones? Is it in- no, that's not it. Is it in the veg box? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is where all my leaves are, guys. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for leaves. Thank you for doing the SMP command. Okay, Cap, I'm definitely gonna try that because I want some of these cacti to stay small. And not tall. Okay, we got to firm it up. It's really funny, like the ferns are this like horrible color, but I actually kind of like it. It like makes sense for the, the vibe. I've used slabs, I would imagine string would work. I think I'm gonna try string. My other thought was like a pot on top of a cactus might look like a flower or like a cactus fruit, but I don't think I could place that there. Like I think the game would be like, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Cause like it's technically placing on the block and cactus aren't a full block tall or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking would happen. But Galaxy Girl, thank you so much again for the raid. Uh, if you need to do the after stream things, please take care of yourself. It's very important. Uh, and for those of you who don't know me, my name is Small Cats. I play Minecraft here on the Friends and Nonsense SMP, uh, and I am a tiny chaos cat. The target dummy glares at their foes before them. Why are they ignoring me? Why do they not attack? Fight me! <laughs> Okay, the river cat performs some hand gestures and incantations. They cast a mystic fishing rod at their foe. It hits, dealing five points of damage. GG's. Thank you for the warden roar. You be blah, 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 blah. But you may be able to fake it out, place a block, and then and the pot on the block, and first then swap the block for the cactus. Smart. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, I hadn't thought of that and I like it. We're definitely gonna try that. Because like I want 
it to look like not just a, your standard cactus. That's boring. Okay. Okay, the river cat goes up to the target dummy and takes a huge bite out of them, dealing 20 tasty damage. Okay, then readies their hands, performs some gestures and incantations. They launch three magic missiles at the target dummy, dealing 10 force damage. Oh my goodness, Kay, absolutely going ham on this target dummy. Re charges their remaining magic energy and annihilates the foe. GG's, Kay. Absolutely destroyed that target dummy. Had no chance. I built this little statue guy that has a pot with bamboo on top of another pot with bamboo, and I have to do it that way. Interesting. Now I want to try this. It sounds fun. I love stuff like that that's like, I built this little weird thing and I just, I had to use kind of a weird block trick to do it. It's like my fave. Pug cries scrim of the Sexmo. Oh, I'm sorry, Pug, that sucks. Truly unpleasant. Ayo, Sisuke. Absolutely wrecking that target dummy. I should eat food. Nom 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 nom. Okay. We need to get some more water and fill up this thing because then we want to place like all the water plants or whatever. Stevie, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? <laughs> Good, glad to hear it. I'm doing awesome, thank you for asking. Um, one sec guys, I'm very distracted. The surprise of absolutely no one who's ever met me in my life. That away, go over here. CB, thank you for that follow. Pugs for pugs. Is small, but at least appointment. Gotcha. Well, thank goodness for that. It would be very unfortunate if you did not have something like that. Okay. Let's try to put this in here. I think this is going to look really cool. Ow. I love filling up water. It's so fun. Oops. I found the bubbles. I mean, small, I'm a bad pug, but who doesn't put it on often? Pug. Pug. I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell you what to do. You're a pro at Minecraft. Nice. But you should do the thing, Pug. <laughs> I know, Small. I know. I won't bother you about it. I won't be a pest. Ah. I'm being literally launched into the air right now. You are not my supervisor, technically. Are you good at Minecraft? I don't know. I don't like to categorize playing Minecraft as being good or not. Because like, there are people who will be like, I'm great at bed force, but they'll be like, I'm bad at building. And I just, I don't like that categorization. Like I'll describe my own building as like, I'm not very good at this thing because technically I'm not good at it, but I don't think I'm like bad or anyone's bad at Minecraft. Like it's a sandbox game, play however you want. There are people who like never fight the dragon or never go to an ancient city or like only ever building creative. They're not bad at Minecraft. They're just playing the game different. Turtle gang. Guys, this is a perfect opportunity for a turtle gang teaching moment. Turtle gang, All right? 
Play the game you want to play. Play it how you want to play it. Live your dreams. Don't let them be memes. Small is the best. Tadpole immediately contradicting me. Love it. True uh, mob view right there. Griff, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? Griff, how excited are you from a scale of one to one bazillion for Hahi Chronicle 2? And that was my work phone. Scram. Wait, one sec, guys. I have to look at my work phone. Scram. Wait, which is the high end? Of one bazillion? <laughs> I'm excited for you guys. I'm super excited to see what this server does and all the jazz. So hype. It's gonna be amazing. Scram at me, sir. Scram! I was watching so many people derping around at the beginning and it was a lot of fun. Ugh, I'm so jealous. I got to watch a little bit today, but today was like truly the most chaotic work day. I was in meetings back to back all morning and then on the phone most of the afternoon and I just like didn't get to like see all of the early game chaos. I was sad. And then I have to travel for work tomorrow so I'm probably not gonna be able to get caught up, but it's fine. You're not on until Saturday when I stream. I applaud your patience to not playing until Saturday. Nah. Help, I'm being launched. No. Yes. Guys, I'm getting good at this filling in a lake thing. Who knew you just needed the power of water mechanics and you'd be good at this? Who knew? I missed streaming, so starting moments last time. I missed streaming my starting moments last time, so I want to make sure I don't miss this time. Fully fair. Well, that should be super exciting. And I can't pick up a bonus stream. Aw, fair. Yeah, that's that's rough. It's just so hard when you like really want to be participating and doing things and you just have restrictions IRL that are making it really hard to do. Eh. My gosh, if I Minecraft is so fun. Best game ever, honestly. Actually the best game. Guys, Minecraft is my jam. I wish I could have caught more live hockey day one. I'll be checking the bots when I have time. Yep. Well, the nice thing is that based on how long Chronicle 1 was, we have plenty of time to get caught up on a hockey. Water sleeps. Wet bed. Oh, I forgot I had all these. Ah. I just really need to stop launching myself in the air. I just really need to chill out. Let me go with that. Turning out really cute. Okay, this is all filled in. So the question becomes how much higher can I make this? I think I can raise this up at least two more. Right? I think I can raise that up like two more, right? Yeah, I think so. Guys, it's hard to decide. <laughs> I love the floppy cat. The rainbow floppy cat. That's so cute.
Thank you for creeper emotes. Okay. I'm gonna try to get this to fill in in a way that makes sense. Water mechanics are weird, guys. Yeah, so I think we'll fill it in. We'll put the plants in, then we can go get some fish. So we do need fish. So that it looks pretty. Gotta get daddy on some tropical fish. Automatic server saving. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness we're saving the server. I need to back up the server this week. A reminder to self, back up server. Be a good noodle. Be a good admin. Grim! Guys, there's a Grim in my office. What kind of Minecraft do I play? Um, generally, survival vanilla Minecraft with a few extra quality of life mods, or I play hardcore. I also play super flat. There's a, there's a whole bunch of different Minecraft. Minecraft, actually. Now that I think about it, I can't really answer that I play mostly survival anymore because of Vault Hunters. I technically do play modded. You gotta get those scheduled tasks going, Miss Admin. I know. Bad tool. Vex super hostile? I know. I'm Now that I'm answering that question, I'm realizing I'm a liar. I set mine up to download backups periodically. Actually, smart, though. I should probably do that. I, I back it up, like, pretty regularly, I would say. I just, like, forget. Like, the Vault Hunter server back backs up automatically on its own. It's got, like, four backups. It cycles, like, through the slots and resaves, like, every day. This one, I don't do that automatically. I just do it when I remember to. And now that I think about it, I should do that more. Hashtag badge noodle. The host does the backups every day. Smart, smart, smart. Our OG HC I download every day. I feel like the worst server admin right now. I'm I'm absolutely not killing it. I'm like, yeah, whatever my brain remembers, I do it. <laughs> like literally the worst. Don't feel bad, it's what I do for work as well. That's fair. Well, it's not what I do for work, and that's why I don't think about it. Server maintenance and backups all day long. You play Java Minecraft? Nice. Yeah, I generally play on Java as well, as I think it's the one that makes more sense. I prefer playing on PC. I prefer the modding ability. I don't really like bedrock. The mechanics are kind of weird. Just like what I've seen of them. I'm kind of like, eh, I'm okay. Cap, can we just set up a thing where you're just gonna randomly be like, small, back up your server, because I don't remember. That was almost parkour. Bullshit. <laughs> cool. Oh, cap. Actually, though, because I'm 90% joking about the server thing. Somebody told me that you would know how to properly trim chunks on a server and, like, not screw it up. Because I've done it on a single player world, but I've just never done it on a server. I'm scared. 
properly? Yeah, like, not destroy all your stuff. I'm aware that that's like a vague descriptor. It's the same process? Is there a method? I don't know, because like, just the whole concept of like having to download the world and then trim it and then re-upload it scares me. For fear of screwing it up. I think I'm just a nervous, a nervous goose. Make backups? Fair. I do make backups. Sort of. I'm scared. I'm just nervous. I don't wanna fuck it up. Yepers. You have to shut down the server, download the world files, trim, and then re-upload. Yep, exactly. Okay. I can do that. I believe in myself. I believe in the power of me. Sort of. Oh, small drip leaf. Crap. Wait, can small drip leaf only go on certain blocks? Yes. We're all nervous about that stuff. I'm glad it's not just me. Because I'm scared. Hello, completely underwater small drip leaf. Might as well. I like the look of the completely underwater small drip leaf, but it's just not very practical. Okay. I'm finding people who admin servers need to talk more about adminning a server. Yes. I don't know what I'm doing. Send help. <laughs> like, when I became server admin, slash like, was self-appointed server admin. I did not know what I was doing, and I still don't, and had never done this before. So it wasn't, it was simply that I'm the admin because I'm the person who pays for the server, not because I have any knowledge or experience of how to do it. So I'm watching you and I'm playing Minecraft, nice. Me too, exactly, yeah. Like, it's not a case of like, oh, small is the most qualified. It's the case of, oh, small pays for the server, so small is in charge. Which, again, not a knock on my server mates. Like, I'm the one who handles that side of things, so, like, it makes sense. I just don't want to screw stuff up. Especially because, like, um, so, f like, in terms of my lack of experience of how to actually admin a server, like, we had a ton of server issues with, um, the most recent season of, uh, Vaulters. You hosted the OG and did my time. Very true, Derek. Very true. Again, nothing against you guys. I'm just the one who's paying for it, and therefore I admin it. Like, it makes sense, and it's fine. Um, but like with uh, the Vault Hunter server, Vaulters, we were having so many issues, and it was just like such a whole thing because I was like basically just harassing people, being like, "How do I do this? How do I fix this? Help, scrum!" Like, and everybody was super helpful, and uh, the server host was super helpful. But it was just like, "Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh!" The whole time. What was hey junkie? You're in IT, right? How about you make a server for us? Lol. <laughs> Exactly. That looks cute! Okay, we need fish. You do a good job, no worries. Let's go! Derek said I do a good job! Validation! Cool, I have been validated and I no longer um, have to worry about anything ever again. Nothing will ever break for as long as I live. Because I've been validated. <laughs> Clip it! <laughs> to be fair, uh, this server, at least, I mean, it's just a vanilla Minecraft server with, like, some vanilla tweaks and some really basic mods. It, like, really never has problems. Like, it generally is just vibin'. Like, the Vault Hunter server is the problem child because Vault Hunters is just more resource intensive and more complicated and has, like, 40 bazillion mods. So. But this server, vibes. It's just chillin'. It's just chillin'. Okay, we're looking for warm ocean so I can steal some tropical fish from their habitat and relocate them against their will.
Hello? Are you a fish? You're a cod. Yeah, having to learn all that stuff was an adventure. Truly. Hello, are you a tropical fish? You are. No. Yeah. Get in the bucket. All the friendos get in the bucket. Come here, goofy boy. Here, fish, 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 fish. Forge paper, bucket fabric, plugins, dog packs, Reese's port. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. I was like, what's a bucket? And why does it matter? It's just me just screaming. Ow! Hey! Rude fish. Very rude. Unacceptable fish based behavior. Any more of the mean fishies. Come here. Get in the bucket. Get in the bucket. Ugh. Why can't I fly? I'm like not swimming fast underwater. I don't know why. Do I not know how to swim anymore? Why am I not entering swim mode? Okay, I'm like actually annoyed. I have Death Strider on my boots. Yeah, I do. What is happening? Get in the bucket. Like, I'm swimming so slowly. What is going on right now? Why can't I swim? Oh my gosh, these fish. I'm being bullied by literally fish. Kill the fish? No. I'm literally trying to catch the fish. Why would I kill them? Fuck it. I just don't know why I can't swim. It's really weird. There's gotta be some weird issue, lag issue. I just like don't know how to swim anymore. I don't know. You're a cod. You're a fish. Got him. Okay, we're good now. I actually figured out how to catch fish in a bucket. It was painful to watch, I'm sorry. I don't know why I struggled so much with catching fish in a bucket. I still don't understand the difference, to be honest, between forged paper, fabric, any of that. I'm like, I understand these are different mods, but I don't know. They do thing, I don't know. I'm just vibing. I've been them being bullied by fish. They're all different versions of a server program. Ah. Well, I still don't really understand how they're different and in what ways. This server is on paper. That's what I know. Like Optifine and Iris. Gotcha. You know, I actually switched over to Iris and I like it better. I'm sorry, Optifine. I used to be such an Optifine stan, and uh, I've switched over to Iris, and I it's better. I'm sorry. It's just better. Release the fish. Go fish, go. Disco fish for no. You're using Iris now? I'm glad it's not just me. Written by different people. Gotcha. Oh no, they're trapped. I was about to be like, oh, that's gonna work. Bionic Tree knows true server hosting hell. He hosted the our OG server back. Wait, what? Back in the day, back in 2011, when third party hosting did not really exist. Ouch. Gross. Pain. Look at the fish doing fish things. Look at them doing fish stuff. Why are you over here in a pile? What are you doing? 
Yeah, I'm using Iris now, or think of it like Mac versus Windows versus Linux. Okay, that, I mean, that makes a little bit more sense. That does make more sense. Hmm. It was hosted in his PC. Gotcha. I mean, Captain Tendies did that for us originally, after we moved off of Realms. It was hosted literally in a server in his house, before we moved to Apex. So, I love when the fish get yeeted. Guys, look what happens when the fish get stuck in the bubbles, and they just get yeeted. Oh, I love it so much. Why are you all stuck over here? Like, I truly don't understand. So the power went out and we all screamed. Oh. Yeah, that happened a couple times. There's a mod on the One Life SMP that gives players unique weaknesses. Mythical Sausage forgot his weakness is water and almost drowned because he can swim. He can't swim on this world. Oh no. Yeah, I saw that they're playing with Origins again. Origins seems to be a very popular mod for short-term servers. Alright. We release La Pafia. La Pafia. Like, Origins is just one of those, like, every, I feel like every time there's, like, a short-term content creator server, it's Origins. At least for YouTube. It's almost always Origins. <laughs> Captain's just laughing at me. Okay. The shader's off. Get all of our buckets in a row. Buckets in a pile. Bucket stack? Eh. Whatever. Alright, we gotta build some trees. This looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. This looks like an oasis. These are acacia leaves, which I don't really want. I need birch leaves. Do we have any birch? Tiny bit? Not really. Okay. We need to get... Pick up this stuff. We need to get some borch leaves. Do I have a hoe? That's silk touch, yes. Let's go find some borch. Some innocent borch trees to destroy. Oh, perfect. There's a forest of borch. Poor forest of borch. Never knew it was coming. Hey, Pika Cat! Oh no, Void Kitty projectile vomiting bisexuality. Poor kitty ate too much cake. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> hey, Pika Cat. <sighs> right? Kitty Cat? Uh, very excited about pride. Very pride vomit. It's adorable. Kumi did it for me for pride, and I'm loving it so much. Okay, what about you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Alright, which trees? Get out of here. We are currently uh, harvesting some leaves for some custom trees. You know, the huge priming, vomiting rainbows. I really don't. I didn't. Blah, I didn't know anything about origins, not in the mods really. But yeah, everybody in chat keeps asking, "What's your origin? What's their origin?" <laughs> Hello, yes, my origin is uh, being a tiny criminal. That's my origin. Moss, 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 moss. Hey, moss. Welcome in. How are you doing? On Pix's streams? Yeah, I saw that today. I'm pretty sure Ginger pinned a comment that said, like, Pix's origin is archaeologist or whatever. Probably because they were tired of answering that same question on repeat. I thought it was, that, that was very funny. You're good? I'm glad. little bit more leaves. 
rip this porch forest. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I think I would probably get sick of the, like, what's your origin, like, in the first six minutes. Like, I wouldn't last even an hour before I was like, okay, no more origin questions. I'm banning the term. Done. Yep, and people kept asking anyways. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Always. That's the problem with once chats get that big, is you get that kind of stuff because you just have people constantly coming in asking the same question. Like, not realizing it's A, not realizing it's been asked, or B, asking anyways because they want whoever's streaming to answer directly. They don't want to, like, read the pinned comment or, like, a mod to answer them. They want the streamer specifically to answer their question. And so, like, if you're, if you have a big chat, you just have a bazillion people doing that. Which gets super frustrating. Literally one every one or two minutes. Yep. That sounds about right. But I mean, that's just sort of the nature of it. Which is fine. It happens. Okay, that should be enough porch for now. What's that? What's in here? What's this? Oh, it's a cave. Lava. Oh, that's cool. Didn't know this was in here. grass we wanted. I love this song. I wonder if my coffee's hot. I put my coffee on my warming plate like, I don't know, an hour and a half ago? Oh, it sounds kind of, it, it sounds hot. It feels hot. Never seen a topic that hot before in his streams. It was kind of funny. So honestly, the Are You Gonna Join Hermitcraft, I think, was just as popular um, before Pix joined Empires, in my opinion. And then when the during the first season of Empires, questions about Zornoth were also pretty aggressive for a while. Cap says, okay, small, I'm out of here. Time for an eight-hour nap. Good night, chat. All right, Cap, thanks for hanging out and uh, chatting servers. So nice to see you. Have a good sleep slash eight-hour nap. Got a vibe with a nap. Who doesn't love a nap? Good luck, have fun. Thank you. You too. Uh, okay. These are leaves. These are leaves. But yeah, the Zornoth questions for a while were, oh my gosh, endless. It felt like, and not endless end ever, but it was just endless. The number of people asking about Zornoth every single stream. Like, in sort of a funny way, to be honest. Okay, I could have sworn I had more... What are you gonna do now? We're gonna build some custom trees. Yeah, there we are. I wanted azalea leaves, and I was like, I know I have them. I just have to find where I put them. And then I need the logs. So like we made these jungle trees. We're gonna make more. Jungle trees? Well, they're coconut trees. They're palms. They're palm trees. We're gonna make more of them. Except I need something. I need more composters that we're using with these. 
Where are my composters? I think I put them here. These things are so fun to make. When you don't fall out of a tree. When you don't fall out of a tree, they're so much fun. When you do fall out of a tree, it's less than fun. It's fine. <laughs> Be me, fall out of a tree. Surprise no one. Has anyone ever seen someone pillaring up with comp composters? I think this might be new. I think this might be the new pillaring up and building meta. Composters. Okay, that looks bad. I'm trying to make sure these all look different. Very hard to do. Like, actually really hard to do for some reason. Because you're trying to give these, like, this umbrella shape, but you also don't want them to feel round. But the umbrella shape is inherently a rounded shape. So you kind of have to, like, stagger, like, pick a side that the leaves aren't going to be as tall almost, and then choose a side that has a longer droop the leaves so that the trees don't feel too symmetrical because otherwise they feel very very round and samey and looks bad which is currently what i'm trying to figure out the best way to go about dealing with better. I don't know why, but having that weight to the tree on that one side looked weird. Okay. Yep, that's good. Yeah, I'm trying to keep one side of the tree feeling heavier than the other side. can kind of go back in here and fill it in like a little bit. Oop. Accidentally just put leaves in a composter instead of placing them. I composted them. Jay Price, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? I hope you're amazing today. We're definitely going to need more azaleas. Doing well, thanks. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, I think that looks good. Oh my gosh, that's painfully bright. Yeah, I like it. It looks cute.
Oh, that's so cool. Like, just a desert oasis. Okay. It's getting very dark. It's like I should sleep. I should be a reasonable person. I should make mobs not spawn and kill me and make me suffer. Oh my god, small with the flag! Thank you, thank you! The one, the only, the Kumi. The wonderful Kumi. Uh, updated the PNG tuber from Pride. So the, the Pride cat has a little Pride flag in its mouth and it vomits Pride rainbows. Uh, so it's the Bi Pride flag, because I'm bi. And uh, had to celebrate a little bit. Some amazing art, so. Kumi always knocking it out of the park with the art, honestly. Like, actually so good. It turned out so cute. I'm loving it. Alright. I like this tree. This is a good tree. Let's put another one over here. Let's make this guy taller, but I want it to have different steps. It's amazing. I want it to be an emote. Ooh! By pride cat emote. We don't really have a lot of slots left, but it, we could. Kumi's pretty busy right now, is the thing. So she had to kind of work this into her schedule. So I'm wondering if we could make that happen. That would make me happy. Maybe we could. I'll have to ask Kumi about it. It's definitely not going to be something we're going to be able to do right off the bat. Just because I don't have... This human was pretty busy with school and stuff. So. But we'll try. So I'll bring you small... Aw, oh, thanks, Griff. I love your emote, too. Such a cute bride emote. Oh, I have zero expectations. I just love it. Oh, thank you. We're definitely going to keep the, the pride PNG for a while. We'll be definitely keeping it for pride. Uh, I might just keep it longer than that. We'll see. But yeah. But thanks, Griff. I mean, I, I've been out as bi for a while now, so it's not like a big announcement or anything, but it's nice to be able to just do the me. Do me. <laughs> thank you for the cool cat. Still worth celebrating? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Griff. You are so sweet. Yay, Pride! Jero, hello, welcome in. How you doing? Yes, we are absolutely going full Pride cat pride it's so cute it's so cute it's got a little by pride rainbow Jero, i hope you're having an amazing day the chat encounter mama melissa's monster harem who has 55 points of health and an ac of 12. there you go monsters if you wish to defeat them you'll love to see it okay I'm gonna turn the shaders off because that's actually hurting my corneas. I am Hobart too. I'm doing pretty good. I work is kind of crazy right now. Life has been kind of crazy, but I'm hoping it's gonna chill out. I'm hoping we're gonna be able to get back into the mining and the crafting uh, very regularly, very soon. I've got a work trip this week. Once that is over and after this weekend, because I've got some family stuff, I'm hoping I get to chill out. My TMO is your pride colors. Uh, which of uh, uh I don't have all the flags memorized. I should know which which flag flag that is. I don't. I'm sorry. It is a very cute emote though. It's the NB one, that's what it is. NB. Okay. I love it. That's a very cute way to incorporate that in an emote. Mm, this guy is too of a long boy. I like it. Guys, I'm shamelessly stealing this composter idea from Aldi, by the way. I think the first time I was ever in one of all these streams, he was building one of these trees and he used composters in it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. And I stole it. 
and I continue to steal it to this day. So thank all these for composters. Chomp. <laughs> Griff expels a cone of fire at Mama Melissa's monster harem, dealing nine points of flame damage. Very nice. Ready, Griffin Prime readies their hands, performs some gestures, and incantates some words. They launch three magic missiles at Mama Melissa's monster harem. They all hit, dealing a total of eight force damage, 40, 44 HP remaining. Oh my gosh, you guys are actually going ham on the monster harem. Gay Price goes up to Mama Melissa's monster harem and just takes a huge bite out of them, dealing 12 tasty damage. 32 HP remaining. Oh my goodness. Chat is wildin' right now. I was actually gonna say how great the composters looked in the tree. It's all Aldi. I stole this from Aldi. Shamelessly stole it. It looks great because you like want to break up the texture. Uh, for sure. Right? Like you want it to have a little bit more going on. But it looks good. That Aldi is just the best. I would wholeheartedly agree to that statement. You like it? There you go. Everybody gotta tell Aldi how good it is. Thanks, Stevie. Gotta give Aldi a quick shout out for being literally the best. This tree is turning out really funky and I don't know if I like it. Griffin Prime goes up to their foe and hits them with their Jax Raging Disappointment attack, dealing five points of damage. Oh man, that's scary. Jero uses their Berserker Rage monster, hitting their foe, dealing a point of damage. Nice, nice. 28, 6 HP remaining. It's cute. Thank you, thank you. J Price grips their Master Sword and slashes their foe, dealing eight points of damage, rolling a 17. Very nice. The monster harem is in danger. Griffin Prime readies their hands, performs some gestures, and incantates some words. They launch three magic missiles at Mama Melissa's monster harem. Guys, can everyone try to say three magic missiles at Mama Melissa's monster harem five times fast? Thank you very much. Three magic missiles at Mama Melissa's monster harem. Three magic missiles at Mama Melissa's monster harem. Three magic missiles at Mama Melissa's monster harem. Three magic missiles. Sorry, work phone. Work phone. Work phone. Work phone, not phone, but close though. Wow. All right. It's hard to say. Well. Ten force damage. Eight HP remaining. Oh my gosh, guys! Actually killing it. Like, actually killing the monster harem. <laughs> Not even a joke killing it. Like, just actually destroying the monster harem. Poor monster harem had no chance. Griffin Prime tries to use their Jax Raging Disappointment attack, but it misses. Oh no. Hoping this doesn't get me in trouble. So is this a reverse harem? I need details on the harem. Uh, I don't know. And someone's going to have to ask Mama Melissa about that. Oh dear. I hadn't thought about it. <laughs> I feel like Mama Melissa is going to show up and be like, ah. the question though i think it's just a harem i think it's a bog standard harem Griffin prime charges their remaining magical energy to cast a very powerful magic missile at a monster harem the port bow is annihilated congratulations everyone gg's griff on defeating the monster harem at last good job chat absolutely destroying it Three magic missiles and Mama Melissa's monster harem. Three magic missiles and Mama Melissa's monster harem. Three magic missiles and Mama Melissa's monster harem. I did it, Moss. Be proud. Hot mess. Not a hot mess. I'm a good kitty. That was only four times. I think it's because she successfully seduces many monsters and adds them to her harem. Gotcha. So I don't think we could even say that this is a, a, no, a not normal, but a... 
I don't like the phrasing of any of this. I think it's just a mixed harem. Wow, just wow. Wow, just wow. Sometimes it's just wow. These are very chumpy. This. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, three. Kay's like, wait, counting. You couldn't remember if it was three or four? I think it is actually three. I think Kay's right. I think it's three times, and it just feels like a bazillion because it's just the same word a bazillion times. Oh my gosh, ouch, my eyeballs. My eyeballs. Okay, we're fine. It looks so good. Sleep. Guys, if I knew how to count, I think I would be better at my job. <laughs> if I just knew how to count. Shakes fist at numbers. You love this? I'm glad. Alright, we need to get more of the leaves that are not either of these because these both turn that like brown color. Yeah, they get weird. Mm. Can I get some of this? Blinded by the shaders? It was so bright. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Shine bright like complimentary shaders. Like, so bright. Absolutely wild in. Shine bright like a complimentary shader. Leaves. Yep. Mine, 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 mine. Mine, 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 mine. And we get three logs. I think we're not going to get as many leaves. Oh, we got a lot of leaves. Is that really that many leaves? Huh. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. I'm happy. I'm happy, never mind. I thought small suggested five times fast, but I also apparently can't count. I did suggest five times fast. I think Moss just sent it three times, which is fine. Because honestly, had Moss sent it as five times, it would have been like a giant wall of text spam, if that makes sense. Like it would have been a lot of spam. I think we're gonna put tree I'm trying to put them in a like triangular shape. Let me get some moss. Or some grass, I guess. Get, get some whatever really quick. Some of that whatever. Very te technical term, some of that whatever. So my 13 year old is currently trying to figure out how to tie a toga out of a sheet for Greek day tomorrow at school and it is hilarious. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Greek day, that's pretty fun. I don't think I've ever had to make a toga out of a sheet, but it does sound like it would be more difficult than you might expect. Like it's kind of got that vibe of like, I bet that's harder than you'd think. I guess it depends on how long the sheet is, because if it was a long enough sheet, you probably could tie it like you would tie a sari, almost. And it might not be as difficult as you'd think. I don't know. I want to go try it. I'm not gonna, but I want to. Am I taller than all of these? You're off to bed now, bye. Alright, Stevie, thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you have a great night. Okay, 
I'm kind of doing this in a different way this time. I'm trying to make the top feel more filled out before I do the bottom. All right, first things first. I'm gonna say all the words inside my head. Um, that just looks like a sad mushroom. Okay, we're gonna fix that. We'll fix it. Listen, with our trusty composters for pillaring, we can do no wrong. Guys, actually, are composters the way? Question mark? Are composters the new way to pillar? They break instantly. And, like, to be fair, I haven't fallen into their hitbox, like, once. I'm doing amazing. Composters. Currently taking the Minecraft world of builders by storm. Use moss. Actually a good choice. But maybe consider this composters. Just, just give it a try. Tell me how you feel. Okay, this one looks very weird. How do they go? That's better. Moss, netherrack, both good options. But I think maybe composters. Saying. Hello, it's the Composter Society, advocating for the use of composters in your build your building projects. <laughs> but then I'd have to make composters? I mean, actually though, that's a really good point. What a tedious and obnoxious block to have to craft just to use the pillar up. I guess if you had like, a magic free composter machine, then sure. But yeah, they are very annoying. Imagine having to craft, like, hundreds of composters to use as scaffolding. You know what the problem here is? You know what the problem here is? This tree has too much of a floop, when instead it ha should have a zoop. See, like, floop, right? Floop. But what if instead, zoop. Floop. Zoop. See what I mean? We have a floop right now, and it needs a zoop. Zoop like soup. I see, zoop indeed. Okay, it's not just me. Alright, cool. We fix the floop, we make a zoop. Yeah. So glad everyone was so reasonable about that. It needs floofed. It does. It's a droopy flu. It is. It was a sad droopy boy. We'll fix. We fix it. Sometimes you accidentally make a floopy boy and you gotta unfloop him. Ah, yes. Floop. Not zoop. No, zoop, not floop. everyone is satisfied by my current composter usage. Truly, this is the way. This is the way of the future. Ah, yes. See, before we had floop, right? But now we have zoop. Correct. This is the way. We're doing so good. Whatever this is doing, though, not good. Fix it like a Charlie Brown did for the sad little Christmas tree. That's what we're doing. We're we're taking what it looks to be a very emotionally struggling tree, and instead we're giving it hope in believing in the spirit of Christmas or something. I don't know what this, the whole plot was to that movie. Something about the, something about Charlie Brown can't catch a football. I don't know. Yeah, 
Small cats explains movie plots badly. See, floop versus zoop. Okay, we're good. Guys, what if we just did like one YouTube episode where I was required to try to explain movie uh, plots? Because as someone who is a serial non-watcher of movies while watch watching a movie, I think I would do an amazing job of explaining all of the plots to the movies that I've seen maybe three minutes out of the entire three hours. Okay, so before we had Floop, right? Now this guy is Zoop, but this guy is doing a Vloop. He's like, Vloop, Vloop, see, wrong. The spirit of Oasis here. Doing the best I can. Listen, I'm just, I'm just doing what any, any cat would do in this situation. That would be a fun stream, show a clip and guess the plot. Or like show the movie poster, guess the plot. Because my concern would be if we were doing Guess the Plot with movie clips, we could get DMCA'd. I don't know if you could get in trouble for showing the movie poster. Or like if we read the synopsis. I think we'd actually have to just do the poster. Anything else I think could get us a DMCA strike. You know what I mean? Poster, no title. I think adding the title makes it funnier possibly because then i have like the context of the title to go off of i love my composter setup right now my composter setup is actually unbelievably awful the whole thing is so bad like <laughs> it's so bad i love it It's, I mean, it's doing a thing. It's certainly, it's, it's doing a thing. What that thing is, well, we don't really know. But it is doing it. Okay, are we, are we zooping? Ah, uh, we do zoop now. Okay. We're doing so good. We're really giving tree. You're essentially using it as scaffolding. Yeah, that's what I think is so funny, because it's the most impractical block to use as scaffolding. Because, like, if you're not careful, you fall into it. Like, I'm pillaring up inside of inside of composters. <laughs> like, wait. It is me building cats. <laughs> Using scaff. New and improved tube scaff. Instead of being on the scaff, you're in the scaff. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I need to go to sleep. I, I need to go to bed. I don't know what I'm doing. I've lost my mind. I'm officially I'm officially out of out of it. I'm officially nuts. Probably harder to fall off of, too. I mean, I'm doing pretty good. Shit. Well, I was doing good until I broke that moss. Rip moss. You'll be fine. I lost a composter. Rip composter. I don't- I- it honestly probably is harder to fall off of, because you know how, like, Scaff does that annoying thing where, like, when you shift, you fall into it. Yeah. Now I'm not doing that. It's great. I love it. Guys. This one, somehow, still kind of weird. What if, uh, instead of that... Just left it like that. Worse. It's worse. Okay, we remove this. I'm being so picky right now. Better. Right. It's better. 
I don't know what was wrong with it before, but it was very not right. Probably harder to fall off. Yeah. I read that. What am I doing with my life? Okay, I like this. This is good. This is very good. I think it looks nice. I was- I went to break composters. I was like, wait, I'm not standing on any composters anymore. Scaffolding breaks so fast you can take damage if you break it to get down. Yeah, that's the problem with scaff. Or like, if you break one of them, you could conceivably remove, like, most of your scaffolding. I also don't like that you can't crouch walk on it because you sink into it. Um, oh no. Scaffolding just doesn't work the way that I think I would want scaffolding to work, you know? Like it could just be better. I think the, the whole scaff setup could be better. There's just other ways. You can in bedrock winning. Not all of us are that cool. Some of the scaffolding gets stuck on builds. Hey, Stardust. Yeah, um, they do that too. Like when you break them and they all fall down. And then you're stuck with like this scaff mountain of like piles of scaffolding everywhere. The other problem with scaffolding uh, is that like when you break it, it can be very laggy when it's like breaking, which is a whole problem. Not my most favorite block. Yeah, and then you have to figure out what they all, where they all went. Yep, gotta go on a scaff search. Gotta go on the scaff hunt. What's that? Oh man. Guys, what's that? uh animal that's not a real animal that people would tell people to go like look for but it, we knew it wasn't a real animal does anyone have any clue does anyone know what i'm talking about like I'm, i swear i'm not crazy like there's a fake animal that everyone would say was a real animal a snipe yes thank you that's what hunting for the scaffolding you dropped on the ground feels like to me because you never have the same amount of- not a jackal. No, a snipe hunt. Drop bears. Yes, it's a drop bear. No, it's a snipe. Thank you, Jay Price and Derek, remembering. That's what it feels like, trying to find all of your missing scaffolding, because it, like, yeets itself into oblivion. And then you're like, where'd my scaff go? And it's gone. Snipe hunt at camp. Yep. Yeah, that's like where I feel like I always heard that is like camping or like on a kid's retreat. Like, not a kid's, what's that? I mean, I, I, like not camping, camping, but it's like a kid's. You know how like sometimes parents in the summer are like, oh, get these children away from me. And so they send you out in to like hang out in cabins for a week. Camp, but like not camping. I don't know. It was called camp, but it's not camping. Summer camp. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm I'm doomed. I can't talk. I haven't said a single word that makes any sense all stream. I'm going to bed. I'm a sleepy little guy. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> but that's where I would hear that. They'd you get people would try to trick you into going on a snipe hunt, and it was not a real thing. You cannot convince me. I know they're fake. It's like that fake creature from like Pennsylvania. It was it's like a porg. Uh, but it's like this sad little thing that like cries at lumberjacks. This is not, I swear I'm not making this up. This is a real thing. Uh, but it's like from like middle of Pennsylvania, like national forest area, like Allegheny Forest. But it was like this sad little thing that like lives in the forest and it cries. Small has gone off the deep end. This, no, this is real. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Now you've confused me and my spouse and I are from PA. Listen, I didn't know that this was a real thing until like relatively recently, and I'm gonna look it up. We're Googling it. I'm gonna prove to you guys that this is a real thing. Uh, lumberjack, uh, cryptid, PA. Squonk. It's a squonk. 
The squonk is a mythical creature that is reputed to live in the hemlock forests of northern Pennsylvania in the United States. Although the earliest written account of the squonk was from the 1910 book Fearsome Creatures of the Lumberwoods, there are no records of the tale being told in Pennsylvania before the book's publication. The next written iteration from the 1939 book Fearsome Critters suggested that the creatures had migrated from deserts to swamps to finally settle in Pennsylvania. As logging camps were continuously moving in the early 20th century, this could explain the creatures' migration to PA. Uh, the squonk is of very retiring disposition, generally traveling at about twilight and dusk, as all creatures do. Uh, it's covered in warts and moles. It is always unhappy. Hunters who are good at tracking are able to follow a squonk by its tear-stained trail. It's always crying. And when, and when surprised or frightened, it may even dissolve into tears. I swear, this is a real thing that people think is a real thing. I, it's a squonk. Oh, what? I'm, I'm putting the wiki link. Hellbenders are very real and I love them. What is that? <laughs> I do love reading about cryptids and urban legends. I think I, I don't remember where I saw this, but I was like, I'm, I'm from PA and I had never heard of a squawk. Uh, yeah, like Jaypress, we're both from Pennsylvania. This is not like a thing that I think anybody knows about. Like it's like a fake but real cryptid. Which is really funny to say, the concept of like a fake real cryptid, but like it's it was probably made up by some guy as like part of a kid's book, and then it just like got a reputation as like being a real thing. And people were like, ah, you gotta watch out for squonks, which is like not a thing. Just saying, I'm just saying that like squonks aren't real. But or they might be. I don't know. I don't I've never met a squonk, so. They don't, my, squonks and cats, they don't really hang out, you know, nothing wrong with them, but we don't really hang out, so like, I don't know. But there's the Wikipedia link for anyone who wants to to check that I'm serious about squonks. I went on a snipe hunt at summer camp on orders of the counselors. Yes, right, Kay? This is a thing that people did. <laughs> it's a thing that people did to children, because people decide that bullying children is fun. I love when people film or take pictures of cryptids like Bigfoot. The quality is absolutely terrible, right? There's never been a good picture of a cryptid. Everyone's like, here, look at this picture that I put through a blender. It's, it's Bigfoot. <laughs> I don't know what's real anymore. Jealous of the Pacific Northwest Sasquatch? Yeah. Uh, the Pacific Northwest has like cool shit. They got like mermaids and stuff and Sasquatches and we've got squonks. <laughs> like we've got a squonk <laughs> it doesn't even seem real it sounds ridiculous like it's absolutely the most made up thing that's ever happened apparently we just have squonks we've got squonks and we've got snipes <laughs> like wait what is wick i'm so curious what the wikipedia article about snipes is Okay, so there's actually a type of behavior or a type of bird. There are 26 different birds in the snipe family. Interesting. So like, oh, and then okay, there's a, the Wikipedia article on snipe hunting. A snipe hunt is a type of practical joke or fool's errand in existence in North America as early as the 1840s, in which an unsuspecting newcomer is duped into trying to catch an elusive, non-existent animal called a snipe. Although snipe are actually a family of birds, a snipe hunt is a quest for an imaginary creature whose description varies. The target of the prank is led to an outdoor spot, basically a kidnapping, and given instructions for catching the snipe, these often include waiting in the dark and holding an empty bag or making noises to attract the creature. Uh, the others involved in the prank then leave the newcomer alone in the woods to discover the joke. Uh, it is often associated with summer camps and groups such as the Boy Scouts. Okay, in France, there's a similar joke called Hunting the Dehoot. Okay, so it's real? Snipes confirmed real? <laughs> Can we all go to Squonkapalooza in August? It's in Johnstown? Actually, let's do it. Let's go to Squonkapalooza. <laughs> Actually sounds amazing. Like instead of actually 
doing anything adulting or productive, let's go to Squonkapalooza. I... What do, what do people do at Squonkapalooza? Because, like, for all intents and purposes, squonks are a made-up creature, right? They're a made-up cryptid that aren't actually real. So what do you do? Like, do you just be like, wow, remember that one time that children's author wrote about squonks? Like, I just, I'm so curious. What do you do there? Like, I want to know. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Stream has gone absolutely off the rails. I mean, what don't they do at Squonkapalooza? I don't know. That's my question, really, I guess. I'm looking at up Ohio cryptids like the Grassman, Cedar Bog Monster, the Minerva Monster, and Bigfoot. What's the Grassman? I know all about, like, the Mothman, obviously, and, like, the bird. I mean, I'm from PA, but I know about the Jersey Devil. I'm trying to think. Uh, I leave chat for a bit and come back to Squonkapalooza. Silverfish, do you know what a squonk is? <laughs> it's a real thing. Here, here's the Wikipedia link. It's a squonk. It's a made up cryptid from Pennsylvania, and it's a sad little wart-covered rat that cries till it dies. It just cries itself till it dissolves into tears. And it apparently haunts lumberjacks. That's a- that's a squonk. <laughs> Good luck figuring out the rabbit hole we drove into. I don't know how this started, but we've absolutely gone off the rails. One or more cryptids for every locale. Pretty much. There's, like, not an area of the world, I think, that doesn't have some sort of cryptid or, like, fantastical creature. I know Pennsylvania has a lot of, like, not Pennsylvania, but, like, North America and the U.S. have a lot of, like, humanoid ones. Like, we don't have just, like, oh, it's a giant fox, but its ears are made of, of dragons and it has 17 feet. Like, we have, like, Birdman or Mothman or Crabman. Like, a lot of, like, half-man, half-thing. And it being Tuesday, I'm not sure what I do. Do I want to find out what it is? I mean, click the link. Silverfish, click the link. Do it. Find out about squonks. Learn about squonks. Embrace squonk. Batman. <laughs> Batman's actually a cryptid. Batman's the only cryptid ever to be photographed in a way that's legible. Yeah, the Wendigo sounds uh, terrifying. Considering it's like a cannibalistic monster that's always hungry and eats until it, like, it always is eating and it wants to destroy you, yes. And of course, Minecraft worlds have Herobrine. Herobrine actually can be reclassified as a cryptid. I officially declare it. Let's make like a movement to like tell people that Herobrine is a cryptid. Because actually though, accurate. We have Punxsutawney Phil, but he's real somehow. Punxsutawney Phil, kind of, Jay Price, my theory, ow, is that Punxsutawney Phil is a vampire but in gopher form. <laughs> He's a groundhog vampire because, like, that guy's been alive for forever. Hairbrine and Slenderman are basically cryptids. Yes. Hunters follow them by their trail of tears. Yeah, it's just a sad little rat that cries and <laughs> if you catch it in a corner, it dissolves into tears of sadness. It's just a sad little guy. A vampire? Yes, Griff. He's a, a vampire gopher. I don't know what it eats, uh, maybe Pennsylvania lottery tickets, but it does eat something. I'm right. I'm unreasonable, but I'm right. Like, I swear, I'm, I'm unreasonable, but I'm right. <laughs> well, everyone, thank you for coming to Squonk Stream, uh, your number one source for squonks. I'm not gonna finish this tree. I still haven't packed, I have a 7 a.m. flight. I should end stream. Okay, okay, I actually, now that I think about it, we should end stream because I have a 7 a.m. flight, I haven't packed, I need to take a shower, I'm actually a goblin, uh, and squonks are real. So let's figure out who is streaming that we can go send everybody over to. Um, So many people. 
Uh, you know what? Let's go over to Fluff. Fluff Tapes is live. How long has Fluff been live? Like two hours. Okay, okay, okay. Not that long. Not that long. Who needs to pack? It's fine. I need to pack. I have to find all my work gear and I don't know where it is. Um, sorry, I just totally did that wrong. Okay, here's Fluff's link. Read Fluff Tapes. Uh, I'm actually a goblin. <laughs> I am. So it cries constantly because of its wart covered skin and hunters follow it so it dissolves into tears. Yes, he's a Sag boy. He's a very Sag boy. All right, guys, you know the raid drill. Go ahead and grab that hashtag small raid uh, with the little raid emotes. If you do not have a sub, go ahead and do the hashtag small raid with any little emotes you got. Anything are fine. Um, thank you guys all so, so much for hanging out. It was super fun. Thank you so much to Endless Endeavor and Galaxy Girl for the raids. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for all the redeems. Thank you for being here. It was super fun. I will not be streaming the rest of the week. I'm traveling for work, which is icky and gross, and I hate it. Um, but alas, I must. So I will hopefully be back on Sunday with DVD with Dutchie for Pride. But thank you guys all so, so much. Thank you, Silverfish. Thanks, Griff. Uh, let's see who's in the chat. Thank you, Jay Price. Thank you, thank you, Stardust. Thanks, Kay. You know, Tadpole was here. Thanks, Endless. All the peeps, all the peeps, all the peeps. I shall. Thanks, Jay Price. All right, everybody. I've been Small Cats. Have a great night. Let's go say hi to Fluff.